the great apostasy that the Bible spoke about. It's not coming, ladies and gentlemen. It is here. It is alive and well. We're going to talk about what one minister is saying about God here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe. I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple different ways you could do that. One, you can just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You can also help me out with my goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have three signups so far. We still need two more to go until we hit that goal. And guys, the month is almost over, just a couple days left. So help us make the goal happen. With Patreon, you get alerted for all my content, unlike YT, which you're not going to get all the alerts for these videos. You can also leave all your comments over there on these videos completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking, taking down what you guys are saying. You can also send me direct messages. And if you want to know my story, how did I go blind? How do I operate this entire ministry with no physical sight at all? I have a video that explains it all down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So, who is Caleb Hines? Caleb Hines is a minister who uh, likes to brag about the fact that he has all these degrees, uh, his doctrinal degrees, and thinks that he knows more about the Bible than you. Well, he recently posted a sermon to social media talking about our Heavenly Father, in a not-so-nice way. In fact, it was quite derogatory as Heinz delivered here in his sermon that God is basically every single member of the rainbow community. That's right. All the letters that make up the rainbow community, God is every single one of them. This push to make God a female to indicate that God is whatever you want him to be is just another example of the false doctrines that are being spewed out there by these so-called pastors. Let me explain to you a little bit who Caleb Hines is. He represents the Disciples of Christ denomination who often push for rainbow inclusion in the church, but it even goes beyond that. They claim this, this is important, so I want you to hear me on this, that true Christianity has been hijacked. Oh, oh, not only that, but the written word of God itself has been hijacked. So, Everything that the scriptures say, according to the disciples of Christ, <laughs> such a fitting name for a denomination, right? Disciples of Christ. All of that is, in fact, a lie. I mean, what do I know? I mean, I'm some blind guy on YouTube, right? I mean, these people tell me all the time in the comments, don't touch the Lord's anointed. How dare you say what you're saying against them? How dare you stand for wicked rulers and leaders and false pastors who are deceiving you? Don't tell me. Not to judge these people. No, 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 no. We're calling these people out for the wolves that they truly are. Don't get upset at me because you're deceived. Because you want to believe a lie. Why? Because it makes you feel good. Because it fits your narrative. And I have all the clips below in the description. I want you guys to check them out. But let's go a little bit further into these apostate ministers. Because you see... The disciples of Christ also claim that we need to promote the true message of Jesus Christ. What was the true message of Jesus Christ? <laughs> Obviously, according to them, it's not to repent of your sinful ways. No, 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 no. Instead, they believe that the true message of Jesus was all about love and inclusion for all. Do, do you guys see? Look, I know I'm blind. But do you guys see that the devil has completely infiltrated every single denomination in this world today? 
that he has twisted scripture, that he has really twisted the minds of so many of these individuals? Look, I can't blame all the pastors, so-called pastors. I don't even like to call them pastors. Many of them were never Christians, true Christians to begin with. But for the sheep out there who listen to them, who buy into this, who have failed to read the written word of God itself for their own, a lot of that falls on them too. Because, and look, this might be a little hard for some, but this needs to be said. When you go to stand before the Lord on the day of judgment, you're not going to be able to say to him, well, Lord, but my, my, my pastor said that this lifestyle was okay. He's not going to give you a pass for that. If you were told the truth by others and you, turn, you chose not to believe it, it doesn't matter. You'll be eternally separated from God. He'll say, depart from me. I never knew you. The blame game won't be accepted when you go before the Lord. And the same can be said for these so-called pastors. The hour is late. And yet, people still choose to play games. They want to buy into progressive Christianity, which is nothing more than demonic. There's nothing Christian about it. They have hijacked what true Christianity really is. Not the true Bible believers, but those apostates who call themselves followers of Christ, disciples of Christ. Your time is coming. And look, I know they have time to repent, but many of them will not. They are set in their ways. They have marked themselves. <laughs> look at Revelation 13 for more about that. For all of eternity, they've chosen their side. But it doesn't have to be the same for you. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines. I keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. I do it because we're in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. If you're somebody watching right now and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words. But I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually Turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month and help us out here with our goal for the month of February, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we have three so far, still looking for two more to make the goal happen, guys. And we are almost at the end of the month. Also, you can click the super thanks down below on this video. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.